Hey guys, Chris here with GolfAtHome.tv and you may hear a jet warming up in the background and that's because this particular golf course is right next to an airport which makes the greens fees very affordable which is great for practice because today we are doing something unique we are playing with only a 7 iron and a putter let's see how it goes I have about 268 yards left to the hole. Club selection, 7 iron. Yeah, baby. That's an opti shot swing. <laughs> that actually worked out really nice. button anyway. I got it. Nice! Where'd it go? The one club challenge, playing a whole round of golf, 18 holes, using only one club. Um, we didn't exactly do that because we added the putter, but it still was a lot of fun. I think it uh, really helped me with the short game using a 7 iron only. Um, it took a little bit in the beginning to get used to that, instead of using a sand wedge or something like that, but once uh, I got the hang of it, I was actually doing really well around the greens with it. I was on my way to beating my uh, previous record at that course. Um, I shot a 97 last time I played that course with a full bag. It had been a while, but then uh, we played again using only a 7 iron and I was on my way to beating that. And that's pretty funny because I also have five unnecessary strokes in a greenside bunker. Getting out of a bunker with a 7 iron is a little tricky, but I did get out eventually. Um, in fact, I even had a birdie on a 320 yard par 4 using only the 7 iron, which I was very happy about. Um, you know, and it kind of makes sense too, playing strategically like that instead of just taking your driver and saying, well, I'm going to hit it as hard as I can to get as close to the green as I can, because sometimes that, you know, gets you in trouble. But uh, I would recommend trying it, going out, playing with only one club. If you're too scared to do it or don't feel... Uh, I played on a very cheap course, and so I didn't feel so bad. Uh, I didn't feel like I lost anything. In fact, uh, I kind of it's really fun. I'd play even a better course using only one club. But uh, if you don't want to do that, you could at least try it on the OptiShot or P3 Pro Swing or whatever. If you have a golf simulator, take one club and play around with it and, and see how you do. It's a lot of fun. I would recommend the one club challenge. Give it a go. And uh, before I sign off, I want to give you a little sneak peek of what's to come. I have lots of testing and uh, videos going on for OptiShot and other uh, golf related activities at home. So lots in the work, but uh, bam bam, that's exciting. Uh, subscribe, see what happens. Alright, bye.